Welcome to the podcast. Sube le volumen. Conversation with the people who were with me. In the world TV. Carlos tonight. Carlos tonight. Historias de un reportero. Hey everyone, this is Carlos tonight. And if you like listening to music and you like shopping, then I think you're gonna love this episode. I'm very excited to introduce you to a real cool guy who combines music and shopping and mixes it with a little bit of dance. He is a store manager at uh, Walmart in Houston, Texas, and he's a TikTok superstar. Ricky Munoz, what's up? How are you? Hey man, what's up? Good afternoon and hey everybody, my name is Ricky. I'm store manager here in Walmart in Houston, Texas. And I am pretty pumped to be here with you today, man. Thanks for the cool. invite. No problem, it's good to have you. I think this is the second time in my show's history where I'm actually starstruck. Well, oh, really? I mean, <laughs> so I don't think that you. much of an impact. <laughs> but I appreciate it, man, I appreciate it. Cool, well, you have more than 66,000 followers on TikTok and that number continues to grow. What is it about your page that has everyone watching? Um, I think that uh, me being a store manager for Walmart, you don't, in your head, you have a perception of what you think a store manager looks like, right? And, um, and, and you know, I, I hate saying it like this, but you think of an old, a gray haired, heavy set guy uh, to be a store manager and i'm something that combines a little bit of the modern aspect of trying to get people to be more social media based and then also get a little bit of old school since i've been really with walmart for a very very long time so um i think people kind of um are able to relate to me a little bit and and my page just continues to grow with all the love and support from everybody around the country and around the world so most of your TikToks take place uh where you work at walmart um, what was the reaction like when they heard about the page, especially when it started to blow up? Um, actually, you know, um, I it's funny that you you say that. Um, this TikTok started going with um, it was more. I utilize this the TikTok to engage my associates. I use it to boost morale in the store and try to get people to work together as a team and and uh, motivate each other. And we did the first TikTok together in a store before this one, and it started to um, get some attention because it was just sounds, I guess, that were trending at that one point. And um, when that became something that was my associates were expecting for me to do with them, we just continued to do on them. And I remember getting a phone call from my market manager um, here now in Houston at the store. And he asked me, um, he's like, hey, I, I see you're doing a lot of social media. We we love that you're using it for the positive. And, and the reason I really did this was for the engagement and to show everyone that that has a bad perception of the brand, which is Walmart. Um, it's my job to show them the great, great place it is to work for a great company like this one. You know, I'm going to be honest with you. Watching your videos makes me want to apply and be part of your team. Um, how much fun are you guys having? We have a lot, man. Um, we the the way that we boost morale in this store, you get associates to really go above and beyond taking care of the customer, which is our number one priority, right? And um, if your associates are happy, our customers are going to be happy. And it's something that we promote here really a lot in the store and within our market. And our market manager and our market team are very, very supportive of it. And you said it's uh, building uh, morale around the store. Are other stores that you know of doing the same thing? I know there's a lot of stores out there trying to make some competition and, and, and I love it because it, it really um, it, it really attracts viewers and people who watch our TikToks that um, it gives them the right image of what Walmart really is about, which is our associates and taking care of each other. And um, I, I think it's amazing. I get a lot of videos that I'm tagged on. Um, it, it feels great when someone says that I inspire them to to have a great day. I did not know that my impact was so huge on people. And yesterday I was lucky to meet my uh, president and CEO of Walmart US, Doug McMillan. And um, the first thing he said was, hey, you're the guy from TikTok. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> you're, you're the president of Walmart. And you know, we just started laughing and it was just, it's great being able to um, be a positive influence on others. How does it feel knowing that you're, you're starting to trend here? It, it feels great. It really does. Um, I'm. 
I'm majoring, I've graduated from college this December. I'm graduating with um, a broadcast journalism major. So I want to do what you do, right? Mm -hmm. And um, this has opened so many doors with a lot of variety of things here at Walmart. I'm able to do what we call shop alongs. Um, I'm doing live content for walmart.com slash live, and I'm able to showcase um, items that we're promoting. Um, so that that has opened that door. Um, social media has made it seem like go to any Walmart in, in the city of Houston, and they're like, hey, you're the guy from Walmart, and I, I get pictures around the mall, and it, it's great. It's a great feeling. I'm not going to lie to you. It feels amazing. That's so cool. I'm talking with Ricky Munoz, a Walmart store manager who has a huge following on TikTok. We have something in common, as you mentioned earlier, and that is journalism. How has the art of storytelling helped you not only create great TikToks, but sharing the Walmart experience with your followers? Um, it's all about telling a story of, of what you do day to day. And I think people, when people relate to your the, the story that you are trying to portray to other the audience, um, it becomes more of an impactful way of reaching to each and every one of them. So um, I, I try to portray the most positive image I can possibly do, even if I'm having a, a really bad day or I'm, I'm bummed out about something. Um, my job as a, as a leader is to promote that um, happiness throughout the social media that I can and, and personally with, with people that I meet face to face. So what do you want to do with your journalism degree? Um, you know, Walmart has a lot of different doors that I can go into. Um, they have Walmart radio here. Um, they have a social media team, which, uh, I started getting to know a lot of the members here lately, um, the past few weeks. Um, I actually want to work with radio. I, I don't know what my aspect of my future holds. I know that I want to do it with Walmart if they allow me and give me the opportunity. That's um, cool. but if that doesn't happen, I, I do want to work at a radio station here. Someone told me back in the day that I had the face for radio. <laughs> and um, now I want to pursue that. I, I think that um, I can touch more lives uh, by just people listening. How many times I have been told that? <laughs> and and I was watching some of your content, man. I'm 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 blown away. You're amazing at what you do. Just oh, thanks. I appreciate FYI, it. FYI, man. <laughs> I appreciate that. Um, okay, so we all have different methods of bringing our TikToks to life. What's your method? What's your secret? Uh, it's not about me. It's about the people who are with me. Um, that's the secret. It's um, people, you know, the TikTok influencers out there, it's all about, and I hate, hopefully it's not too direct, but people either are making fun of somebody else or they take their shirt off and and they're, they're showing something that's not true. I want to show people that it's okay to be the goofy you. It's okay to have fun for five minutes and, and um, showcase how... Um, spontaneous you can be at once you know it, it, it's about portraying the real you and not showing somebody who you really are not and i noticed that on your uh feed not too long ago you posted uh, a video like something you had on your draft so i'm curious what the rehearsals are like um i bet there's a lot of laughs and a lot of good times happening it, it is i'll be honest with you man um when we do these TikToks, it People might think we take several, like 30 minutes to an hour to do them. And I'll be honest, it's like a one minute thing. It's usually take <laughs> one time. Um, the ones that have bloopers on um, our, our social media team at Walmart, they send us a script. And we're, there's a way that we have to, you know, uh, introduce a commercial or the segment that we're about to do that upcoming weeks. And mm -hmm. we become um, Oriana, which is my uh, my peer of mine here at my market. We We rehearse it. And we rehearse it so much that we just laugh the entire time because we start stumbling on words. <laughs> um, but those are the drafts that you see. But other TikToks that we do, it really, honestly, it takes once or twice the max when we're doing them. And we keep going because we do got a job to do, which is take care of the customer. So um, there's a local business here in Dallas that created their um, TikTok recently. Um, what advice would you give to businesses out there? who are thinking about, you know, starting their own TikTok, whether it's like, uh, not company-based, but someone who works within the company? Um, all, I guess the biggest advice I can give is, um, you're always representing a brand, right? Um, and for me, I can't, and I will not, because I made that commitment to myself, is I'm not gonna create something that's gonna damage the brand that I'm representing. Um, just remember, have that back in your head that whatever it is that you do going forward when you start 
getting followers or your content starts blowing up everywhere. Um, you have to be true to your brand and you got to represent it well because you don't want to hurt that brand that you're representing. In a way, you're a walking billboard, right? You are. And everything that you do, you post, you say, you got to be very cautious because it can be misconstrued Absolutely. or, um, you know, so that it's something that's completely a different meaning. Talk about the importance of social media, specifically TikTok, and how it's helping with, let's say, sales. Can you hear me? Hello, I'm Dave. sorry. I, I actually lost you. What was the question? Oh, no problem. Um, so let's see. Um, talk about the importance of social media, specifically TikTok, um, and how it's helping with, um, you mentioned uh, morale earlier, but what about sales? Does it bring people in the store? Uh, so it's social media is the way of the future. It, it you got to embrace it. And some of us that are a lot older, you know, it's, we become hesitant about the technology that's being brought and you're like, oh, that's not my thing. Um, but if you look everywhere with every business, um, social media is the way to go. Um, it does help with sales. It helps with showcasing what your your talent is. It showcases what you're representing. It's just all about how well you're utilizing it and how are you going to portray um, what you're doing to the audience. Cool. So you're doing your store manager duties and then you're also doing TikTok, right? Yes, um, I, I, I am. Um, that, the, the great thing about this company, uh, Walmart has been super supportive with the TikToks. Like I said earlier, it's I'm representing a brand now, right? Yeah. And um, I'm I'm showcasing the positive. Oh, I lost you. There you go. So Okay, sorry. I was just saying that it's just, you know, uh, I'm representing a brand and, and showcasing what great morale we can do here. Perfect. Um, okay, I'm talking with Ricky Munoz, a Walmart store manager who has a huge following on TikTok. I want to know about Ricky Munoz, the content creator. What's your favorite TikTok that lives in your head? Um, I am a big fan of music. Um, I On my personal social media, I'm always lip syncing to a I lost you. You're good. There you go. I'm there sorry. Go. I keep getting all these calls. Um, the it's because they know I'm you're not, on Carlos tonight. That, that that I think that's what it is, man. I think that's <laughs> what it is. Um, so I'm a big, huge uh, supporter of music. I, I love um, uh, reggaeton is my favorite uh, genre in Spanish. So I'm always lip syncing on my social media. Um, my favorite TikTok, and even though nobody ever views it, is a song from Sebastián Yatra, Pareja del Año, and he's doing the violin. So that's a, all. Every time that song comes on, I'm in the car doing the moves and um, <laughs> and doing it on my own. But that's like my favorite one. Oh, cool! My sister got to interview him recently, so I'm going to share her, share your video with her. That that um, would be awesome. Yeah, great music he has. Do you have like a favorite um, TikToker out there? Um. Yes, I do. I I really um, and I forget his name, um, but I just love his content because he's so positive about uh, what he does. It's nothing like um, talking bad about somebody or cursing or anything like that. It's, it's just he's very positive. I, I really wish I could remember his uh, username, but um, he's a huge inspiration. OK. Um, anyone you'd love to collaborate with? Um, yes, I there's this guy that works for walmart too his name he goes i think cameron from walmart he just does a lot of dances um i really would probably geek out if i ever got to meet him and just do like something uh you know corny out there and just do a little quick dance i can't dance like he dances but i i can i can move a little bit oh cool <laughs> um you're latino right i'm latino i okay. so you're born background. with the moves right yes yes just just a little bit i i, I got whitewashed <laughs> a little bit but i'm <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. Um, so, okay. By the way, how do you come up with your ideas and is it always easy to convince people to take part of them? Um, here at work, yes, it, it is very, very, very easy. Um, my associates actually love to do the TikToks. They're like, Hey, uh, Ricky, if we get this done today real quick and we do a TikTok real quick, I'm like, yeah, for sure. And it, it becomes something easy now. Um, now in my personal life, I can ask a friend, hey, let's do a TikTok. They're like, nah, dude, that's not my thing. Come on. <laughs> and I have to beg them to do them or uh, her. But it's um, it's not as hard as you would imagine. Oh, okay. 
Um, it seems like you're living your best life. You're doing TikToks, you're managing a Walmart, and you're also doing a lot of live, live segments for the company's website, as you mentioned earlier. Um, tell us a little bit about that. Uh, so the Walmart, the shoppable live stream event is, an, is a new way for us to showcase items in a live format to where if I'm showcasing that item, it can pop up on the screen. You can select it if you like it and you can um, uh, exit and, and pay purchase for it after the end of the segment. So it's something new that we started. Um, it's been a huge success. We've been, Oriana and I have been very privileged to be noticed of the content that we're making with TikTok that we got noticed for this. And it's been blowing up. And honestly, I think um, our contract's gonna get extended from what I was told the other day. So I'm excited for that. And it just allows me to, again, to put to practice what I'm studying and yeah. um, get comfortable in front of the camera. It's a good experience that you're gaining. That's so early it on. Is. Uh, yeah, I wanted to buy a grill when I was watching your, your live the other hey, day. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you for reviewing it. <laughs> um, how can people connect with you and then watch your content? content. Um, you can follow me on TikTok, obviously, at Ricky Munoz Jr., R-I-C-K-Y-M-U-N-O-Z-J-R. The same name on Instagram and my Facebook is Ricky Munoz. Um, I Everything that I do is Walmart related, um, except when I'm in the car driving and doing my lip syncing. But other than that, that's how you can find me on social media. Cool. And for those of you who are listening, of course, watching, I'll put that in the show notes with all the details. Thank you so much for your time. This was great. I wish you only the best and uh, you, you inspire me and I can't wait to see more videos and see what happens uh, in your future. So God bless you. I appreciate you. Thank you. And it was great meeting you. And that's a wrap. Thanks so much for watching and for listening. This episode was written and produced by yours truly, Carlos Correa. Carlos Tonight theme by Skin Gales. Visit carlostonight.com for the very latest on the podcast, see upcoming guests, and check out past episodes. That's carlostonight.com.